So with the third example, we are going to consider rational functions with quadratic factors. So for this example, given f of s equals 2s squared plus 10s divided by s squared minus 2s plus 5 times s plus 1, we are asked to find its inverse Laplace transform. So we have f of s giving us 2s squared plus 10s or divided by s squared minus 2s plus 5 times s plus 1. Now here that is for the denominator we have a linear factor and non-repeated linear factor and then we also have this to be the quadratic factor. Now whenever you have a quadratic factor the first thing we are supposed to do is to see if you can I mean break down this quadratic factor to have the product of two linear factors. So what we are going to do is to try to I mean factorize this into linear factors with real coefficients. So for s square minus 2s plus 5. Now we are going to multiply the coefficient of s square by the coefficient of the constant and then we have 5. So we look out for two numbers that when you multiply you have 5 and then when you add you still have 5. Now the factors of 5 we have 1 and then 5. There is no way you can add 1 to 5 and then multiply 1 by 5 that you can get negative 2. So you realize that we cannot have this quadratic factor or we cannot represent this quadratic factor into let's say two linear factors with real coefficients so since we cannot do that then we are complied to represent this quadratic factor in the form in the form s minus alpha or square plus beta square plus beta square so by this we are going to do completing the square. So for s square minus 2s plus 5, the first thing we are going to do is to factor out the coefficient of s square. So basically let's factor out the coefficient of s square which is 1 and then we have s square minus 2s. Now we have the coefficient of s here to be negative 2. So for negative 2 we are going to find half of it which is going to be negative 1 and then we take the square of this value. So we are going to add the square of negative 1 and then we subtract the square of negative 1 and then plus 5. Now for the next step, this term is going to go away and then we have s and then minus 1 all square and then minus negative 1 square is 1 and then plus 5. So finally we have s minus 1 all square plus 4 and then 4 square can be represented as 2 square. So comparing this to that you realize that alpha here is equal to 1 and then beta is equal to 2. So this is the values of alpha and then beta. So by this, we say that we've been able to complete the square. Okay, good. So now we can have f of s, f of s represented as 2s square plus 10s all divided by s minus 1 all square plus 2 square times s plus 1. So because this is a quadratic factor, we have this to be a quadratic factor. At the numerator, we are going to have as plus b. It's more convenient to be represented as, so let's say if you have as plus b, then it's more convenient to represent this as a into bracket s minus alpha plus b beta. So with this you realize that we are going to have a on the outside and then s minus alpha s1 and then plus b beta. So beta is 2 so we have 2b. So instead of having a s plus b we are going to have a into bracket s minus 1 plus 2b.
So we have that here, a into bracket s minus 1 plus 2b all divided by s minus 1 all square plus 2 square and then plus c over s plus 1. So now let's try to find the LCM. So the LCM is basically the product of these two factors. So s minus 1 all square plus 2 square and then times s plus 1. So this divided by that, you'll be left with s plus 1. So we have s plus 1 here. And then inside we have a into bracket s minus 1 plus 2b. And then plus, this goes away. So we are left with this s minus 1 all square plus 2 square. On the left hand side we have 2s square plus 10s all divided by s minus 1 all square plus 2 square and then times s plus 1 and this is equal to f of s. So since the denominators are the same we are going to equate the numerators. So we are going to have 2s square plus 10s equals s plus 1 times a into bracket s minus 1 plus 2b plus c into bracket s minus 1 all square plus 2 square. Now at this point you want to find the values of a, b and then c. So if we put s equals negative 1 here, all of this term goes to 0 and then we can find the value of c. So first we are going to put s equals negative 1. On the left hand side we have 2 times negative 1 square plus 10 times negative 1. That will be equal to we have c and then negative 1 minus 1 square plus 2 square. Now this becomes negative 1 minus 1 becomes negative 2. The square of it becomes 4. So 4 plus 2 square is 8. So we have 8c on the right hand side. This becomes negative 1 square is 1. 2 times 1 is 2. And then minus 10. So that becomes negative 8. So we have negative 8. Negative 8 equals 8c. We divide through by 8. By 8. And then we have c to be equal to negative 1. So we have c to be negative 1. Now let's move on as we try to find the value of b. So to find the value of b, we are going to put s equals 1. Now if we put s equals 1, then we have this going to 0. 0 times a will also be 0. So we are going to put s equals 1. So on the left hand side, we have 2 times 1 square plus... 10 times 1. Now this becomes 2 plus 10, which is 12. So straight away, we have 12 on the left hand side, and that will be equal to 1 plus 1 is 2. So 2 on the outside. So 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 times a is also 0. So this becomes 0 plus 2 times b, and then plus c. We have 1 minus 1 all square that would be 0 plus 2 square which is 4 so on the left hand side we have 12 equals this becomes 4b plus 4c but we know c is equal to negative 1 so we have 12 equals 4b plus 4 times negative 1 that is negative 4. We transpose negative 4 to the left hand side. So we have 12 plus 4, that is 16. So 16 equals 4b. Now when you divide through by 4, and then you have the value of b to be equal to 4. So let's try to find the value of a. To find the value of a, 
we are going to put s equals zero so we are going to put s equals zero and then we have for c to be equal to negative one and b equals four so on the left hand side on the left hand side we have 2s squared plus 10s so that becomes 2 times 0 squared plus 10 times 0 equals on the right hand side we are going to have we have s plus 1 so 0 plus 1 that is still 1 so we have 1 on the outside and then we have a into bracket 0 um, 0 minus 1 plus 2b so plus 2b and then plus plus c into bracket s minus 1 so plus c so 0 minus 1 all square plus 2 square so on the left hand side we have 0 plus 0 so 0 equals this is 1 so we can leave that one out so we have negative a plus 2 times 4 plus c is negative 1 so minus 1 minus 1 and then here we have negative 1 square that is 1 and then 1 plus 2 square which is 4 is 5 so we have 5 here so basically that's going to be negative 5 negative 5 so we have a equals 8 minus 5 and that is equal to 3 so we have the value of a to be 3 therefore we have f of s represented as we have a into bracket s minus 1 plus 2b so a into bracket s minus 1 so a is 3 so 3 into bracket s minus 1 plus 2 times b which is 4 and then all divided by s minus 1 all square plus 2 square and then plus c but c is negative 1 so we can make it minus 1 over s s plus 1 so s plus 1 now at this point we can treat this fraction as let's say if you have a over you have a plus b over 2 now you can represent this as a over 2 plus b over 2 so we are going to apply this property here so we are going to represent this as 3 into bracket s minus 1 over s minus 1 all square plus 2 square and then plus 2 times 4 over s minus 1 all square plus 2 square and then minus 1 over s plus 1 so this becomes f of s so the next thing is to find the inverse Laplace transform of this function. So the inverse Laplace transform is given by this. So we are going to have, we are going to apply the inverse Laplace transform for each of the terms. So we are going to have inverse Laplace transform of 3 into bracket s minus 1 divided by s minus 1 all square plus 2 square and then plus inverse Laplace transform of 2 times 4 over s minus 1 all square plus 2 square minus inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s plus 1 so using the linearity property of the inverse Laplace transform, we can pull out 3 and then 4. 
so we have 3 times the inverse Laplace transform of s minus 1 all over s minus 1 all square plus 2 square plus 4 times inverse Laplace transform of 2 divided by s minus 1 all square plus 2 square minus inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s plus 1. So at this point, this transform, this transform corresponds to s minus a over s minus a all square plus b square. And the function f of t that produces this Laplace transform is the function f of t equals e to the power a t cos b t. It is this function of time whose Laplace transform gives s minus a over s minus a all square plus b square. So comparing these two, you realize that we have a to be 1 and then b to be 2. Therefore, we have this to be equal to 3 times e to the power a is 1. So 1 times t, which is simply e to the power t cos bt. Now b is 2, so it becomes 2t and then plus 4 into bracket. Now this also represents the transform b divided by s minus a r square plus b square. And then this has a function of time f of t f of t also being e to the power a t sine b t so we have a to be 1 and then we have b also to be 2 therefore this becomes e to the power t sine 2 t and then minus here the function f of t whose Laplace transform is this is of the form e to the power a t so a here is negative 1 because this has a transform of 1 over s minus a so a is equal to negative 1 thus we have minus e to the power negative t therefore the inverse Laplace transform of the function given f of s is equal to this is equal to this function of time